Stop, They're like be serious. <laughs> no! Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. We are almost halfway through. This is wild. Okay. I mean, I mean, halfway through this video, we will be halfway through. This is why he's around. He's the thinker. <laughs> so today's video is a little bit impromptu. We're doing a boyfriend tag. I didn't really ever know what this was. I've heard lots of other YouTubers talk about it. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, they slightly mock it a little bit and say that they'd never do one of these and then they do it. The whole theme of Vlogmas this year has been kind of like getting to know me. I'm a new YouTuber. My channel's quite small. I'm trying to build up a community, trying to help you get to know me, trying to get to know you. So why not get to know the person that I spend literally 24 hours a day with, seven days a week? <laughs> Actually, no, like we're fine. I don't know how we do this. We're weirdly like okay with being around each other this often. It's kind of weird. Um, anyways, so I guess what I'm gonna do today, I have these questions that I pulled off the internet, um, and I guess what happens is you answer these questions, okay, and I tell you like if they're right, or like we can kind of collaborate on the story of what happened, and then they can kind of get to know our relationship a little bit, while also like kind of testing you. All right, perfect score incoming. <laughs> okay, when and where did we meet? I mean like officially met or like when we like saw each other for the first time? I don't know. I'm just kind of interested to hear like what you have to say about anything. Okay. I mean like it would have been part-time job at McDonald's in high school and it was sometime in 2014 between mm -hmm. January and April. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> really sad because I have no memory of knowing him before like a month before we started talking and dating, but like we were friends on Facebook. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I don't know. We just never really worked together until like we started working together. Where was our first date? Menchie's in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> so specific. Hey, I'm, I told you I'm getting a perfect score. <laughs> what did I order on our first date? I can't remember. Wasn't it like honeydew? Uh, frozen yogurt and you absolutely hated it and you had to <laughs> yeah. pretend like you didn't hate it and then you threw it at or did you I don't even know I think I just like picked at it and let it melt and then was like oh darn oh no <laughs> I love Menchie's I don't know what happened with that flavor I just did not like it um and I it was horrible so I just didn't eat it but he paid so I was like well I can't just like I had a really big problem back then with if people paid for stuff or fed me I like couldn't not eat everything. I'd feel really bad. Thankfully don't have that problem anymore, but surprised that he remembered that. Hey, come on. Where and when was our first kiss? In my car, or in my dad's car, <laughs> I should say. Shut out, Mike. <laughs> and it would have been after our, was it, was it Manchies? Yeah. It was, it was after our first date at Manchies. Yeah, I remember, I think I like hugged you and then like went to leave because I was so nervous and you were like, uh. Okay. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Me? Yeah. Me. Yeah. It was at the same time. I think we were watching like Spider-Man or it, Avengers. It was X-Men, actually. We were watching X-Men? Why? Every time I say Avengers. It was like X-Men first class, I think. Yeah, I think we were catching up on like all of those movies just because like we were kind of like in a groove of Spider-Man, Avengers, X-Men. I think there were a bunch of new movies coming out that year. I, I think I think the new X-Men movie was coming out. I don't think I had seen all of them. Mm -hmm. And I think you were like, all, all right, right, we're going to watch them all. I remember it being so uncomfortable and like we were just like so giggly and like whispery and we're like, like, do we say it? I want to say something, but like, I don't know if I should say it. And I remember us verbally having that conversation, and then you finally said it, and I, it took me so long to like spit it out, but I did. But it was, <laughs> man, high school is weird. <laughs> high school is weird. Oh my god. Okay, what is your favorite memory together? Oh my god, he hates me. No, <laughs> we've just been together for like almost so seven long. years. <laughs> I should have mentioned that. We started dating like the end of April 2014. So, um, coming close to seven years. We lived together for like six, so. Um, 
Just like whatever flashes to your mind, it's fine. It's fine if it's not the best, but like. I think I like Chicago because it was like our first independent trip. Like we got to do whatever we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and we were independent and like, we had gone to San Francisco before for my work, mm -hmm. but we had never really had an opportunity to go on a trip by ourselves where there wasn't anything else going on. Yeah. Um, so we really got to do whatever we want wanted and just like enjoy each other's company. Yeah. I think that was probably. I think we went to New York first and that was our first alone trip, but like not like adults. Like we took a Greyhound and we suffered. It was horrible. What color are my eyes? Blue. <laughs> so freaking obvious. <laughs> Which food do I hate? Hate's a very strong word. Yeah. Um, mole. <laughs> and that one time, our first trip together, we went to a Mexican restaurant in Delaware. So I had never really had Mexican food before. I was very sheltered. Um, and we had went to Moe's like Moe's Southwest Grill or something. And I had a horrible experience with nachos. They were the worst. So we go to this Mexican restaurant. I had no idea what I wanted to eat. So I was like, I'm just gonna get the wings. And he's like, well, like you can't not get the mole wings because we're in a Mexican restaurant. And I'm like, with his family, like thinking that I actually had to listen. But the mole wings, you're the worst things I've ever had. I think I had like three bites of the wings and just pretended I was full from the queso. I'm bad. <laughs> Um, I'm sitting in front of the TV. What's on the screen? Either a YouTube video, Grey's Anatomy, This Is Us, um, right now a Christmas movie, but you haven't really been watching that many of them. Um, Busy making videos for you guys. 100%. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, like what one of you, one of your favorite shows or a YouTube video um, yeah. from like from one of your favorite YouTubers would be pretty much dead on. Yeah. Um, Okay, what is my weirdest habit? So this is like subjective, like what you think is weird. <laughs> oh, you're f***ing weird. <laughs> um, obviously you're cutting that out. Um, I don't think there's like any one specific thing that you do that's like super weird to me. Sometimes you're just like really weird. It's just all of them, okay. No, it's not like, <laughs> no, it's, it's not all of them. <laughs> what am I good at? <laughs> YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like you, I think you're like the dedication that you've shown to it and like the progress that you've made in like your editing abilities and all that. Um, I'm, I'm super impressed by it because I know that like I'm not the creative type at all. So I wouldn't be able to do the stuff that you do. Um, so that's something that you're very good at. Appreciate that, thank you. Uh, what am I really bad at? <laughs> I'm sweaty. <laughs> Apologizing. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> <Tea>. <laughs> ap yeah. ap apologizing. She's very, yeah. very stubborn. Um, which yeah. I am so stubborn that like when I do apologize, I have to say it my own way. Like in my own specific words that like don't give you too much of what you want. <laughs> She doesn't want to give you the satisfaction of admitting yeah. that she did something wrong. Yeah, I hate giving people the satisfaction. I don't know what it is. I'm working on it though. You are. We're you, growing. You, you, We're you've, growing. Been, you've been a lot better with it. Yeah. But there is there's work. Like I do it. I do it. It just might take a while to get there's, to it. It may not be the exact words he needs, but we're getting there. I'm working on there, it. <laughs> Yeah, the, it's it's getting better. <laughs> this is just a roast of me. <laughs> it's, it's not. We're just we're just not there yet, and that's okay. It's oh all about growth. Guys, this is what happens when you start dating somebody at the end of high school, and then you have to like become an adult with them, and like learn who you are, and like develop with them. It's a really weird thing, but also I think it's like the best thing because we're gonna be like so freaking like locked together, like gone through every single challenge. What was our first trip together? Kind of mentioned this already yeah so our first trip together so we went to visit my family in pennsylvania from there we went to washington dc and then we went to delaware mm -hmm. and then we went to new york city and then yeah we went home uh, and that was the first trip <laughs> and for the record his parents took us on that trip amazing thank you so much you guys yeah thanks guys but so funny because like i said we started dating at the very end of april we started dating very quickly after our first date and this trip was the beginning of july i was just like thrown right in there and they haven't been able to get rid of me since also my mom doesn't know we shared a bed hey crystal <laughs> stop stop i'm not just putting kidding, that she doesn't watch your videos <laughs> I'm at the zoo. <laughs> Where will I spend all of my day? 
you'll split it between the giraffes, <laughs> the sea turtles, <laughs> and I think we found together a new a newfound love for otters as well. Yeah. They were they were really cool when we went. Yes. Also, we don't go to the zoo anymore. Yeah, um, we're woke. So woke. And then penguins. Yeah, pretty much nailed all of those. I was very interested to see if you were gonna make it a split because yeah, like those are pretty much all of my favorite animals. Yeah, and and you also move, move on from things relatively quickly, so you wouldn't be able to spend your entire day at one place. He just gets me. <laughs> per, per, personally for me, it'd be the gorillas. Yeah, that was because, so good. Because again, we don't go to the zoo anymore, <laughs> but they like just the way they move, it's very human-like and it, weirds me out a lot, <laughs> um, but it's also super interesting to see. Um, am I a mountain or a beach girl? Beach. Yes. Haven't been to the beach in six years, um, but we'll get there. <laughs> when do I become the biggest fan girl? When there's a movie being filmed in our general vicinity, or when a celebrity's in our hometown or a home or a town nearby, or uh, ba basically anytime there's a celebrity within probably a, a hundred <laughs> kilometer radius of us that's filming a movie or a TV show. That's fair. That's when she goes hardest fangirl, I would say. That's very fair, yeah. Who is or are my favorite YouTubers? Uh, Remy, Alicia Marie, the one who lives here. <laughs> Tara Michelle. Um, <laughs> you've been watching like Janine Amapola a lot, Shelby Church. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I pretty much covered all the bases. Yeah, pretty much. There, there are some other ones as well that you watch, yeah. you, you sprinkle in, but those are your, those are your mainstays. That was very fair. That was, yeah, that was definitely good. Most of these people, they're all the reasons why I felt like I wanted to start a YouTube channel in the first place. Their lives just look so fun, and I love to talk, I love to share, I love to give recommendations and try things, so I just wanna like thank all of those wonderful people for making me believe that I could do this. Me and my 289 subscribers, and growing. And growing. And growing. Rapidly. Rapidly. <laughs> we love that. Thank you. What TV show do I like that you hate? Anything that has like 10 seasons? No. <laughs> it's not like, the thing is like, I don't really hate a lot of things. Like I'm pretty, I, I feel like I'm relatively open to watching things. It takes you, like it takes you a while to convince me to watch your shows. But once once I start watching them, I'm pretty I'm pretty re like relatively okay with them. Um, and then some of the time I really like them, like with One Tree Hill. That's one of our biggest issues. I'm a huge binge like TV show watcher. It's like books. Like I've got to get through them as fast as possible, just so I can be extremely sad when it's over. Whereas Chris, his attention span is like very short. He needs to move on to something else relatively quickly. He'll watch like a two hour movie, two and a half hour movie, but then after that movie, like he's done. And that's kind of like the same thing with shows. You can watch like one or two episodes and like you're just over it. I just get like weirdly invested and I like need to see every moment of the storyline. Last question, we're trying to keep this like kind of short and sweet for you guys. I'm going to Starbucks. <laughs> what do I order? So sometimes you like to try different things. You like to try like seasonal drinks. Um, so like whatever the new seasonal drink is. Um, either iced or hot, depending on how you're feeling. Doesn't really matter about the weather. Um, you'll get it with oat milk. I mean, sometimes you'll get it half sweet or sometimes you'll add different pumps of different things to it. Uh, and then usually you'll go blonde espresso and then you'll take three sips and leave it in our cup holder for two weeks. <laughs> Damn it! Tea! <laughs> No. Or coffee or refresher. <laughs> I hate myself. She doesn't discriminate on what she doesn't finish. <laughs> I've said this before. I'm not a drinker. Like, I always get a tall. I just can't do drinks. I get through like three sips and I just wanted like the flavor for a minute and then I move on. It's probably one of my most toxic traits. We cannot share drinks unless we get like extra large. This guy just kills drinks. It's ridiculous. I have no idea how you do it. My bad. <laughs> Okay, that was chaotic, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to know me a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you back here tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. Sleigh bells ring.